fire and burn. So we are back playing Besiege again. Um, this isn't the only game that I've got to play right now, but it is the one I'm having the most fun with. I think the last couple of episodes that I put was just a compilation of me either being an idiot or just absolutely sucking at this game. So, on we go. Okay, so it looks like in this level the sheep aren't actually going to be attacking me. I've got to go to them and I've got to destroy them. Good. So we want to have something, we want to have a, a variety of weapons here. We want to have some guns, we want to have some fire, we want to have some knives so we can stab them! Oh, we're having lamb tonight! <laughs> What's up babe? We're not having lamb tonight. Well screw you then! No. Oh, yeah! Oh, death! Oh, 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 oh. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try something new because that really isn't um, where where the standard of, of death should be. So um, I've learned a few things since I started making these. Um, yeah, guys, we managed to get a helicopter in the last one. We've had a B-52 bomber. It's all been trial and error. They're not been physically sound, but. Um, I know how to make the vehicles a bit more stable, stop the wheels from falling off, and, and make them a bit more accurate. So let's see if we can put that to use and actually be successful in this level rather than winning it by fluke. <laughs> So I think we've got a pretty good multi-tool now. It's going to be something that can pretty much take the fight on all sides. I've managed to figure out how to use rotation, which is amazing now because I can put cannons on the side, on the front, on the back if we need, and we've got pretty much something covering all the bases. So we can take up these sheep and these sheep and these sheep with my cannons. We've got all the spikes, we've got all the flamethrowers for these guys, any leftovers, and then we've got the slingshot. We'll return back to the slingshot cannon which I was talking about in the other video and it's absolutely amazing. When it works, it will fire absolutely miles. So let's give it a go. Uh, she's holding together. We've got, I've gone for double wheels at the back and that's actually... Look at the handling on that! That can t oh <laughs> spoke too soon. <laughs> okay, let's not get uh, too carried away. We can take out these sheep so easy. Right. Okay. Cool. Uh, line it up. Boom. Didn't really do what I wanted it to do, but never mind. Um. So, yeah, these wheels are really, really good. Really good for what they need to do. Um, they're holding together well. Now this is where the challenge comes in because I need to get, I've got to choose, do I go for the, the sheep on the top, do I go for the sheep on the the sort of halfway point. Um, let's go for height because these are easy to line up. So if I remember the controls, ah, couldn't get the distance there. Right idea though, so I'm going to try that again. <laughs> Die sheep! Oh, why, why is it exploding so much? Why is it doing this to me? You're supposed to work, damn it! Yes! Got him! Some of them! Jesus! Ah, oh, and I've lost the wheel! No? No, no, that was my... That was my decoupler! Okay, cool. We still have the power. Uh, line it up, line it up, line it up, and... Cannon fire! That did absolutely nothing. <laughs> Listen to the squishing noises. Yes. <laughs> We've just got the one left. I think he's a bit of a suicidal sheep. Keeps running towards us. And we did it! Are you having a good time? <laughs> Okay, so moving on to the next level. Now this looks like it's a bit more of a challenge because we've got guys shooting at us and it looks more of an obstacle course than it does to kill everyone course. Um, we'll give it a try in this, but I think it's going to be a bit too wide. We have a wide ass on us, to be fair. And I think we could probably get through this level with something a bit of a sleek design. We're going to give it a try. I'm going to try and take out these guards first and then we'll see if we can do something uh, about getting through the rest of the course. So just fire the cannons. Let them know. Yes. Okay, that's those got. What I'm going to do, I'm going to get something that's going to be lightweight, 
fast, durable, and we're going to cover it with armor so they can't destroy us, and then we're going to see how we get on with that. So stay with me, I'll be back in a few seconds. Okay, and we're back, and now we've got a cool new design. Uh, this is pretty much just function over fashion here. I'm just going to go at it with a the level. They're not going to destroy me. We're covered from head to toe in armor. It looks like some sort of... Um, it looks like some sort of little tank. It looks like some sort of... It looks like some sort of low riding tank from Star Wars or something like that. It looks pretty awesome. There's no weapons, but it has got double wheels for extra traction and we're covered head to toe in thick metal sheeting. So, let's give it a try. That's pretty, pretty responsive steering there. Okay, are we too wide again? Oh, no, 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 and too, oh, really? My wheel, no! Man, dude. Okay, let's try that again. I think we're, we're still too wide for the ramp. We're, we're just, oh. <gasps> Don't you fall off. Come on. <gasps> no, no, no. Oh, take them with you. Yes. <sighs> right, okay. I went to Crazy Town and now we've got something that is basically a Formula 1 car. It's awesome! Okay, this is going to be absolutely intense. This time we have the sleekness, we have the design, we have absolutely none of the skill to get up this ramp. So let's give it a try. <laughs> I forgot to put the blocks on. Ah. <laughs> uh... <laughs> You know what you forgot, didn't you? THE FUCKING STEERING! Right, okay, so once again it's a bit wider than I'd hoped because now we have the, the, the pivots, the, the steering hinges. So it's going to be more maneuverable, i.e. it doesn't go backwards and forwards, but it might still be too wide. Let's give it a try again. This is going the wrong way. I have reverse steering! What's going on? Uh? <laughs> I am press okay. I am pressing right now. Right key is down, and the left key is down. <laughs> what an idiot! Did I press? I, I put them on the wrong way. You know what? Well, I was gonna say let's try and do it with reverse steering, but apparently my car has decided to go its separate ways. Okay, three, two, one. <laughs> And now we're trying to swim our way there. <laughs> oh, I love swimming, swimming, swimming. That's why I have this strong and fine. Fine, 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 these guys are just innocent people protecting their town for all we know. And we've killed them how many times? Okay. So now I think I've got it sorted. Yes. That's better. That's still good handling. I mean, that's got so much better grip than what we've had. Because we've got double wheels. Uh, it's still pretty wide. Oh, we have got a wide ass. And we're going to... We're losing pieces already. Come on. Oh, that's why. I'm missing half the struts, and I've got absolutely no traction now. Everything's going to fall apart on me. Come on, get your fat ass up that hill. Part one. Come on. Get up the hill! Yes! Can you stop firing at me? I'm walking off! 
Come on, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it! Yes! <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Half the car made it. That's good enough for me. Right. I think this is the final level. It's only 60% to destroy, but I think it might still require quite a lot of work. It looks like there's quite a lot that we need to get through here. So I'm going to leave it here. I think this is a pretty long video anyway, and uh, I'll try and make a feature one for the final so we can end it in style and go out with a bang instead of just maybe, maybe not getting there on this attempt. So I'm going to try and make that straight now, but put it into a, a separate feature video for you guys, and we'll have some fun with that. But thanks again for watching this video. If you did like it, again, please like and subscribe. Leave your comments and let me know what you want me to change and improve in the comments box below. And I will see you guys in the next one.